very much to me that you all are enjoying my stuff. And this story is going to be about Bethany Sue. That wasn't her name, her uh, real name. I, I'm pretty sure her real name was actually Crystal something. But I, like I said, I don't remember. So I'm just going to say her name was, her real name was Crystal. But it got changed to Bethany Sue. But anyways, let me start the music and tell you the story of what happened to Bethany Sue and why she's so messed up. This is basically everything that happened in the in our D, our in my old D and D story. But now she's in a new one, but mm, but yeah, let me start this music. Turn it down a little bit so it can be perfect. Okay, let's start. I'm going to tell you what happened to my D D character Bethany Sue, which I think either happened in 2007, or 2018. I don't really remember much. So you already know that. And so anyways, I was the only girl who joined my D&D group. And it was really fun to enjoy, but the DM was very overpowered. His character was like a level 40. I don't even know if you can even go that high, but like level 45 or something like that. So if you have an overpowered D DM, you, can probably, you probably already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And they really loved messing with my character and me because, you know, I was a noob and I didn't really understand this type of logic because I wasn't good at D&D. &D. So my char character, Chris, they messed with my character, Tristan. So my character kept to herself most of the time but ended up getting brainwashed by an evil guy she soon, soon when she tried... Uh, when she went to their hideout, her friends and her teammates... Didn't know about this. The level 30 or however high these guys were told Crystal if she she was going to do whatever he wanted to or he was gonna kill her. And he messed foot and he messed her up so bad too. So he somehow made it feel like his hands was inside her brain. Like so serious. Like somehow I guess it was like a illusion type of thing. Made him feel like her feel like his his hands were grabbing her face and it was like her, his he had to going through her eyes, grabbing her brain, and just like messing with her and everything. It, it just I don't even remember how epic all that stuff was. Like my rules were, my real saving throws were not always that good, but luckily she didn't lose her eye. So <laughs> the um, let's see, where was I? So after spying on her guild master, her guild master killed her because he caught her because he is a level higher than her. I think it was like only a level six or one. And he made my character tell the truth because apparently he can do that and because he is a higher role than me. But you know, whatever. After that, I don't really, I didn't really want to make a new character. So the bad guild master brought me back to life but in a different body known as Bethany Sue as the girl you see today and different looks different speaks the way she walks everything just different but after a while she didn't want to be under his control so she ran away and had to make a wheel saving throw because he was chasing after her because this guy had long really sharp nails like the Freaky Cougar guy they're just like super sharp and he was reaching out to her face reaching out for her and gri and grabbed her face just like just like this it was just like really close to like right here on her face luckily it didn't get her eye but it was like right here and she made a good really safe throw in his hand just like like off of her and I was so lucky that's the only thing that happened to this girl. Cause it was just like that was that was pretty epic. I almost died again. But it was so awesome. I can't lie. Even though my DM was overpowered, I did really enjoy the stories. But I'm pretty sure that the DM just really enjoyed Messing with my character and everything like that since I was a noob still and I was the only girl. 
Like, they were my friends, but I don't really think they really saw me as one of their friends because I was in their group, but I wasn't really in their group because they would be like all talking and texting each other. And then when I get there, they all, they all just stare at me and just go back to talking to each other. And I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll just play D&D &D with you guys. Like, they all had each other phone number and everything. Didn't even ask me if I wanted to join, but that's fine. Uh, let me see. So she soon got away and probably got my guild members killed. I don't know. I'm, I'm not there. I left the pace and now I'm in a new party with friends on Discord with the with this background. So she's kind of messed up because she still thinks she she still hears this guy's voice in the background, back of her mind, and she still can feel his hands on her cheek in her brain stuff like that so like whenever she tries to go to sleep all she hears is the guy it's like i will find you i will find you and end you <laughs> sorry i'm not good at, at um evil voices but yeah he basically torches this trail even though he still can't find her because she's not wearing the medallion or the ring anymore that he can track her and everything. That's all she hears in her mind. She's like, I will find you. I will find you. And kill you. <laughs> and stuff like that. It was like so messed up. My poor character. Now she's in with these new people. And she is... I think she's my character basically turned critical evil now. She's just basically very evil. She does not care. If someone dies, like if one of him, um, if one of her teammates dies, she probably be just be like, hmm. and go about their business. She probably even loot the body because she's so messed up. Like she wants people to save her, but don't expect her to save you unless it's just like really important to the story for her to save you. But most likely, she probably won't. Bethany has problems. She needs some help. She really does. And, um, the way she, t uh, she walks very friendly, like, and if you saw her, she would just have a really creepy smile on her face. Like, that's all you would see on her face is just a smile. You would not see her making any other expressions but smiling. She would talk nice and proper to you, and that would be the only thing else. That was one of my D&D &D stories. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Sorry if it didn't really make sense. I tried my best and stuff, but I still hope you liked it. And I do have a new character, though. We were playing a one-shot for Christmas. Her name was Norby Smith. She had a crazy background as well. We didn't really play that much with uh, her because our um, DM was sick. It still is. Um, um, she was, uh, critical e evil, evil as well. I make all my characters' backstories messed up. Don't ask why. Uh, what, what, what did she do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay. She was an, um, aristocrat and she would have, she was in a city full of very rich people, like high standard people. And... Her family owned a business there, but someone broke into their business, broke everything, and burned it down. And they were poor because they did not have any money to do anything. Or And they tried to get help from people, and people were just laughing at them in their faces like, <laughs> Oh, look at them. They're poor. <laughs> like, get away from me. Ew, don't touch me. Stuff like that. At least I'm doing that voice. <laughs> and then one day when Nora was coming back home, her family, her house was getting burned down right in front of her, and her family was also killed. So she ran to go get some help from these people, She's all dirty and uh um and everything and she was just like running to them just like guys guys help me please I need some help real bad uh, my family they're, they're dead and my house is burnt down and everybody was just staring at them like staring at her like 
<laughs> and then everybody, all you hear in the background is like laughing everywhere, everywhere. Everybody just laughing and pointing here like, <laughs> look at this poor child. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised it didn't just kill her too. And like people were just throwing stuff at her, kicking her, stuff like that. And that day she snapped. She actually snapped. Like she blacked out. And all she and when she woke up, there were like tons of people just like dead on the ground, just like dead. And she was just like covered in blood and everything. And it was just like very graphic. And she had to run away because people were screaming for um the guards. And they were just like, ah, oh, help, help, help! There's a crazy psycho girl, help! And stuff. And she. I actually got away from them. And now she doesn't want to go back there. But she has a, um, it's not a personality disorder. She has an emotional, I forgot what it's called. But everybody has to make, for fun, I, we made a thing where my character is emotionally unstable. So everybody has to make a, um, role whenever she's mad to make sure she doesn't try to just, go crazy and just start killing every innocent person she sees. Which is pretty funny. Because everybody, everybody's just like, ah, no, no, don't kill anybody. We might need these people. <laughs> oh, that's serious. It's so funny. I just, love, I just love it. Anyways, guys, this has been Raymo Sensei, and that's the end of the class today. Hey, I hope you liked and uh, liked, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and became a part of my guild. And I will hopefully be making more videos. I don't know what else it's about. Maybe more D&D. I don't know. But see you guys next.